All right. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is going to be a season of old new faces. You know, uh, Captain Pandya, welcome back. Uh, Slinga Malinga is back. Jaspreet Bumra is back. A um, lot to celebrate for the OG Mumbai fans and we're super thrilled and excited. Um, just one thing is remaining now, so no pressure. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mark, I would uh, like to begin with you. Up first, uh, I consider myself a huge Mumbai Indians fan and just like me, a lot of fans out there uh, want to hear from you about a lot of things. Um, first up, it's a new and promising season ahead. Uh, lots of new faces in the dressing room. So just want to know the key factors that you have focused on in the lead up to the season. Um, yeah, first of all, I think it's just about getting to know the new characters in the dressing room as well. Um, trying to define different roles for each and every person. I think that's important. So they come into the setup and they know exactly where, how and where they fit in um, to the combinations that we want. Um, thankfully, the, there's been a lot of cricket that's been going on, so the guys have played a lot of cricket, so you know, we feel that we're in a very good position at the moment from, from a player's perspective. Um, the guys have been in good form as well. Uh, obviously, there's injuries that you have to manage the entire time as well, which has been um, something that we've been looking closely at, and we've got a good medical team to be able to look after that as well. So, yeah, we, we're just trying to sort of give direction to, to the whole squad about how we want to play, the brand of cricket that we want to play. Um, and I think uh, we're in a good space at the moment. We've got a, a big start today. We've got our first warm-up game. Um, and then two days later, we've got another, another warm-up game. So looking forward to a couple of the players putting up their hands for, for those final selections. Awesome. Also, Hardik, firstly, welcome back. Aapka Hardik swagat hai. You know, it's absolutely unreal to see you back in the blue and gold. You know, this is where the journey began for you. All the success, all the adulation from fans, all the hard work. What does it feel like for you to be back in the blue and gold in Mumbai and at one group? See, first of all, it's very good to be back. Uh, as we, you mentioned, it is back where everything started. Um, it is a very surreal, surreal feeling for me because uh, uh, everything I've known from day one, from 2015 to now, mm -hmm. has been through this field, through this journey. Um, and. Uh, you know, knowing that my whole life changed when I made my debut in 2015 to now. Um, the journey has been a very uh, dreamful journey. Never thought I would reach here, but uh, very, very grateful to be back here, playing in a ground which has been my favorite ground from day one, and at the same point of time, playing for my favorite team. That's awesome. We are all super thrilled and excited that you're back. I would now like to open the floor to questions from everybody present here. Like I mentioned, it is to mention your name, uh, your publication, and to whom you're addressing the questions. Uh, uh, I think uh, you sort of uh, you know, played uh, all your cricket. Uh, mm -hmm. How different will it be this time as uh, you, know, you played in a team where you are the captain? Sorry, uh, can, we, uh, can, can you give me a mic by any chance? I wanted to ask Hardik, uh, you played uh, in all your career under Rohit. Uh, you know, how different will this be that he is in a team where you are the captain, you know, while you know that he is still the India captain? Is that uh, any different? Is, does it, is that a little more complicated? Uh, first of all, uh, it won't be any different uh, because he's going to be always there to help me out if I need his help. Um, at the same point of time, you mentioned that he is the captain of Indian team as well, which helps me because uh, this team, uh, what he has achieved, has, it has achieved under his belt. And uh, from now onwards, it is just going to be think what he has already achieved, I just carry forward that. So I don't think it will be any awkward or anything different. It will be a nice feeling because we've been playing for 10 years. I played all my career under him and uh, yeah, he's got, I know he's going to have a shoulder, a hand on my shoulder always throughout the season. Uh, I think this is David Pandey from the Express. Uh, I have two questions for you. Uh, are you going to bowl this season? And uh, how did you deal with the backlash after Rohit Sharma was upon you, the captain? The fan was completely against you and they took on social media and expressed their interest. Uh, first of all, the bowling bit, uh, yes, uh, I will be bowling. Uh, the backlash bit, uh, to be very honest, we respect fans and everything, but uh, at the same point of time, we focus on the sport. Uh, I focus on what is required. Uh, 
I control the controllables, I don't focus on which I can't control and uh, at the same point of time we are very grateful to fans. I think a lot of things, a lot of fame, a lot of name, a lot of love comes from them and um, they have every right to respect their opinion. Uh, at the same point of time, very excited and going to focus on this board. <laughs> Bus. I wanted to ask you that you know it is uh, uh, Harohit will be putting hands on you know on your shoulder and guiding you. But have you had a chat since the change has taken place uh, with Rohit? Um, <laughs> yes uh, and no uh, because he's been traveling, he's been playing. Uh, we all we all are professionals. By the time the team comes together. We've been playing cricket, so it's been only a couple of months since uh, we have not seen each other. And as as mentioned, uh, uh, whenever the IPL starts, which, which is from today onwards, we are playing a practice game. Once he comes, we'll definitely have a chat. Oh. Hi, this is Ananya Gupta from PTI. Uh, I have two questions from you. Uh, Hardik, how are you looking forward to a new role in Mumbai Indians as the captain? And secondly, you're back after an injury. Uh, how are you feeling and are you feeling 100% with the back of the board? Um, your first question was that how do I feel coming back to Mumbai Indians, right? Yeah. Captain. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it feels uh, yeah. wonderful. Who would not? Um, your very yeah. journey, my very journey started from here. I uh, never thought 10 years down the line I'll be leaving this side. And, uh, yeah, yeah, but the feeling is way too amazing. Uh, very excited for the season, very excited to play with all my old fellows who have been playing and kind of got a lot of success together. And uh, coming back to the injury hit, uh, my injury in World Cup was a freak injury. Uh, I mean, it, was, it had nothing to do with my past injuries, it had nothing to do with my fitness. It was just, I'm trying to stop the ball, I twisted my ankle, it went. Now, uh, I would like to put it across uh, here that uh, I could have been back in uh, one and a half months, but when I got injured, uh, my injury from day one only showed that I'm going to be out of the World Cup. But because I did not want it to, you know, playing for India has been always special, especially in the World Cup format. Uh, I, we, we pushed 10 days. We knew that we, it's a very difficult uphill task to reach and kind of be fit for the uh, World Cup uh, semi-finals or finals. Um, and we, when we pushed, I kind of triggered my injury more and my injury became a little more longer. And uh, coming back as well, when I got fit, the Afghanistan series just got, like it just started. So I've been fit since then. Yeah, it's just I've not played. There was no games to play for. Hi, um, I'm Radhakar from the Hindu. I have uh, two questions for Mark and one for the captain. Uh, Mark, to begin with, uh, there's so much of change in the makeover of Mumbai Indians from what it was last year. Not just the captain, even some of the seniors coming back. How much uh, has it changed the preseason preparations? How confident does it make you as a coach for regaining the title? No, uh, I think it's changed. Uh, you know, obviously it has changed, as you said, the dynamic has changed a bit. But with change, it brings new challenges, uh, new perspectives, which is always good, um, and a little bit of freshness as well. Um, you know. The, We've, we've got a, a new batch of players coming in as well and we are eager to learn and you know some of them their first time that they're coming into RP as well so they, they're very energetic which is always good um, so I think it's, it's you know we, we set up for a good season obviously we want to start off well and that's where my focus is at the moment is as I said before getting getting everyone going in the right direction uh, giving different role, role uh, clarity to, to different players um, but I think we're in a good space at the moment um, we've had a history of maybe not starting off too well so we've addressed that as well, and um, we, we hopefully we found one or two things that we feel that, that we can do within the squad to, to make us more ready for that first game and, and hopefully get off to a good start. Not putting pressure on the players at all. If we get off to the normal start that we've had in Soviet, that's fine. We'll, we'll just have to, to catch up a bit. But um, hopefully the measures that we've put in place uh, over the last sort of week and the few days to come is, is going to put us in a very good space to start the competition nice and strong. Right. Still, some things never change. Fitness updates being one. Can we have an update on Surya and Madhusan? Yeah, so um, Surya at the moment is, is under the guidance of, of the Indian cricket team as well. So, you know, uh, we, we're just waiting for updates on that. Um, I don't like to micromanage. We've got uh, a world-class medical team that, that's uh, in control of, of, of all of that. Um, yes, in the past we've been hampered by a few fitness issues. Um, we, we're always going to be 
uh, in, the, in that sort of domain of, of having uh, fitness issues, as other teams are as well. Every time I, I look at my WhatsApp, there's reports of other, other teams um, also losing players. So, yeah, we, we trust our, our medical team that um, they're doing the right things. And look, if we lose one or two from fitness perspectives, it is what it is. That's, that's sport, and we just have to keep, keep, um, keep on the right track and, and try to find replacements for that. Thank you. And uh, Hardik, uh, not just uh, you or your team for that matter, this T20 World Cup is uh, even more important, especially for Indian cricketers, considering there are so many slots still uh, appear to be open when it comes to T20 World Cup. How do you as the leader ensure that the players in your group can stake a claim deservingly, but not at the cost of uh, losing out on priorities that is to achieve Mumbai Indians? See, uh, on this line, uh, I, I have a very firm belief that uh, uh, you should be playing for the team which you're playing for. Everyone can have goals, everyone can have ambitions to play for the country and uh, for not, for whichever different teams as well. But uh, being honest and uh, being true to your team is the most important thing for me. So, uh, for me right now and towards my boys will be the focus will be the IPL. Uh, will be to make sure that we serve Mumbai Indians the bestest, uh, bestest of our ability. And in that process, if someone's having a claim or someone gets a chance, I would be very, very helpful. But we're not going to focus on the selection bit that if someone can make it or not make it. That goes into a selfish arena. I don't believe in that. We play for the team and it is one team. Uh, Hardik, uh, this is G. Krishnan here, front row. Here. Hi. Sir. Yeah. So, Mumbai Indians have won five titles under Rohit Sharma. You have won under, uh, you have led Gujarat Titans to victory in the first season. How easy or difficult is it going to be to live up to the expectations of the fans and the franchise to win the sixth title? And to mark, uh, last year it was Rohit Sharma, this year it is Hardik captain, so different captains, how are you handling them? Uh, see, expectations would be there with Mumbai Indians always. Um, but I, I, I again, I, I'm a very firm believer that um, in, in certain areas, especially managing expectation, you should focus on the process, right? Because you can't, I can't win the IPL tomorrow. I still have to wait a couple of months down the line. So what can I do in those couple of months as a group is how we prepare, how we look after each other, how we create our brotherhood, um, how we make sure that we know each other in and out from knowing our families, what are we up to, because that kind of helps us to achieve the expectations which everyone has. Um, and uh, yeah, we can only promise, the results are something which are, I think, never in anyone's hand. But the only thing we can promise is that we're going to play a brand which everyone will enjoy and at the same point of time go out there and kind of push our boundaries as well. And I think that is more exciting and, uh, you know, I'm very, 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 very excited and very looking forward to that kind of approach from all the boys. So it will be very exciting to play. Uh, to answer you on my, my question, um, yeah, last year it had its challenges um, with regards to our injuries at the beginning of the season and uh, obviously working under row was, was fantastic, I really enjoyed that. Um, this year is a new challenge, working under a new captain as well. Um, I, I've been a cricketer, I've played under different captains, I've played under different leadership coaches with different players and as I said, it, it's, it's great for me to be able to be in this situation to get different perspectives and challenge me in different ways as well. So. I've got no doubt that, you know, Rob challenged me, Hardik's going to challenge me as well. I'm really looking forward to that challenge and I hopefully try to, to help him out as much as I can and, and get everyone going in the right direction uh, to ultimately, the reason why we're here is to try and win a trophy. So if we can do that, um, I'm going to support, um, you know, the captain as much as possible. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Vishwanath from Nation College. Hardik, it's exactly close to five months uh, before you went down in the Parma Fish match, October 18, two days from now, tomorrow is 19. Uh, the first time after the lower league problem, back problem, you played almost all the matches for the Titans. Uh, how do you feel you playing the Divine Party? And does your body tell you that you can push yourself to play all the 14 league matches for Indian system? Uh, see, Divine uh, Party has been a wonderful tournament for every every international cricketer or every any any other uh, participant because it kind of challenges and it is closest to IPL as well. Um, kind of the competition to everything. Uh, coming back to my injury bit, 
uh, I have no issues with my body. Uh, uh, I plan to play all the games possible because in IPL I don't think I have missed many games uh, anyway. Um, and uh, as you mentioned, it's been five months of injury because the last two months there was no cricket uh, played. So technically I was out for three months. Uh, and yeah, and that's my answer. Sir. Uh, in fact, I'd just like to jump in on um, Mumbai Indians has always been known as a franchise that finds the most amazing young talent, owns them and you know turns them into superstars. Um, so just want to know, uh, with the new young players that are there, uh, what's it like in the dressing room? How, uh, what, is the, what is the process that you follow with the young players in a way that they can go out there and shine the best? I think first of all, credit's got to go to our scouts. They do uh, a lot of work you know, off-season. Um, so there's a whole process that they follow, um, so a lot of credit's got to go to them. First of all, finding the players. Um, we can trust that, that you know, when it comes to the, the auction, we can put a, a few names in front of us and we can, you know, some, some of the players I've never seen play before, but I trust that the scouts have seen them and, and we back their decisions as well. So any, any youngster who comes in uh, is going to be talented. Um, you know, we've just got to try and, and find, as I said, keep mentioning role definition for, for each one of these characters. Some of them might come in, um, not with the thought of playing them immediately, but maybe just, you know, just sort of blooding them in. Um, you know, a lot of the players the, and the great stars that you see in this Mumbai Indians team at the moment have come from a very young age through the whole scout system as well. So there's definite uh, advantages to that. Um, and as you'll see in our system at the moment as well and in our squad, there are a lot of exciting, young, promising players. Uh, last year it was Mahal Wadera who you know, got opportunities and, and really performed well. This year we've, we've got a couple of players as well, don't want to give too much away, but we've got a couple of players that, that hopefully can, you know, if given the opportunity, um, then they can come and, and hopefully be the next superstars for not only, not only Mumbai Indians, but also for Indian cricket. Um, Hardik, like you mentioned, you were also one of the young players coming in in 2015 and now you are the captain. Um, is there any advice you received during your younger days that resonated with you and that you sort of would like to share with, uh, with the rest of the team, especially with the, with the younger lot? Uh, uh, see, it is simple. My brother gave me that advice and uh, uh, it was easy just to be myself uh, because uh, there is always a sense of belonging question happens to the youngsters, anyone who comes to this stage. It's a massive stage, uh, so many people, so many eyes on you. Uh, the only questions keeps popping in your head that do I belong here? And uh, when I was in the same lingo in 2015 and 16, asking this, like, am I, am I not, what is happening? And I think my brother told me that, you know what, you are good enough to be here, that's why you belong here. And. Uh, and yeah, from then, from that time onwards, I always focused on, uh, uh, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, I enjoy the sport. <laughs> and exactly the same thing which I want from all the youngsters. Come and enjoy, be yourself, show your character, what you are made of. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there, Mark, and we have wonderful support staff. We all want to be there to help them, to kind of make sure they achieve and they prepare in the best ability and achieve a lot of greatness in their life. You know, speaking about the coaching staff, um, the, the original gang is back together, uh, Karim Pollard, uh, Lassit Malenga. So what's it like to come back and seeing them in different roles? Uh, you know, you played so much of your cricket at Mumbai with them. So what's it like being back together with the both of them? Very excited. Uh, obviously, I uh, when I played with them, I shared a very good bond with both of them. And now, uh, one being bowling coach, one being batting coach, uh, it is a uh, little uh, surprising but a very warm and very happy surprise that uh, people who I enjoy playing, who are legends of the sport, um, are there to help me and obviously Mark, Mark leads them and Mark has been fantastic from his standpoint, from how clarity point of view to backing and everything which has been wonderful. So. Overall, as a group, uh, it's, it's been fantastic so far uh, and I'm sure it's going to be more even be better going forward. Amazing. Um, Alright, so we'll be taking some questions uh, from, from the journalists here. Yes. Uh, hi, Hardik. I'm uh, Rohan from the Free Press Journal. Uh, firstly, welcome back to MI. Thank you. Really happy to see you back. Uh, I have two questions for you. Firstly, uh, we were hearing rumours that uh, there was a captaincy clause in your contract. Sorry, so. Uh, Okay, so uh, second question would be, uh, how challenging will it be to play this cycle in two phases this time? 
Uh, is it in two phases? Schedule is not in the so I don't know. I'll come back to that. Uh, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so good afternoon to both of you. My name is Dr. Tatsumina uh, I'm from Red FM. Uh, my question is to Mark and Hardik both. Mark, I'll start with you first. You've seen Hardik the player, we've seen Hardik the captain, you've seen Hardik in the lead role. How much of excitement would you like to see from the dugout when it comes uh, to the fact that he'll be, do you know, like the Hardik the all round you know, like, what's that perspective like? And Hardik, my question to you is, uh, you know, I've worked as a team doctor and a sports psychologist in various sports as well. Uh, I've seen your team, uh, you've won championships together and also there's been a phase where Mumbai Indians had a dip as well, you know, this top seat of it, right? How much time psychologically would the team require to, you know, set into that winning momentum again, given the fact that you've won five championships as well? And how much of a significant impact you can provide, given that now there are team leaders, so how much addition would that, uh, you know, point out from a psychological point of view? Mark, question first, uh, um, look off. I didn't, I didn't even play against Sadiq, thank, thankfully. Um, I think myself and him would have had quite a war out in the middle. He likes to stand his ground and so do I. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's watching him in the RPLs, playing for India, I mean, you can only be in awe of, of the all-rounder that he is. Uh, he always wants to get involved in the game, um, whether it be with the bat or with the, with the ball. What's, what's great for me is that he loves the pressure moments as well, and he's done really well, he's excelled. Um, you know, winners create winners. And he's won trophies for MI. He showed that he went to Gujarat and he won trophies there as well. So to have him back in our in our setup, it's only going to strengthen uh, Mumbai Indians. Um, so I'm very excited to have him sitting in the dugout, pick his brain. As I see, as I said earlier, different perspective, different challenges, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and as I said, you know, that our support staff will support him as much as and as, as much as he wants us to. Uh, and you know, hopefully something comes of that. We're not going to put too much pressure on each other. I think if we do the right processes, the outcome will take care of itself. So, very happy to, to have him sitting in our, in our dugout. I don't want to see him in the dugout too much. I want to see him out in the middle because that means that we're doing well. Uh, my answer to your question, psychology, how it makes difference. See, uh, winning and losing is part of the sport. Um, we all have to accept that and I think we all have accepted as well that someone's going to lose, someone's going to win. Uh, but something which, which is very important is that uh, how do you stay neutral? You know, because that is important. As you mentioned, that sometimes losing can take you down and winning can take you up. But what I have believed in whichever team I have played or even myself, that uh, I don't take myself up in success, I don't take myself down in uh, failures. So in that process, what happens, I'm able to be more consistent with my approaches, with my uh, formulas or with my intentions because there is not much fluctuation happening going up and down. And I think that has helped me big time in my sport and my career and just the deal which I have played. Um, and coming back to, we have won five times and obviously there is expectations and all. Uh, but the same answers to the, it takes time, it takes process, you know, it's not a magic wand I have, everyone has that shakalaka boom, 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 we won the trophy. It is something which takes time, a right effort, right intentions. Um, caring for each other, having sympathy and empathy for each other and all these parts for me are very important and very crucial. And uh, if we manage to get all of them together, I think we'll be on the right track to achieve something which we all want to do. Uh, Mark over here. Uh, I just want to know that what was the one reason that made you, uh, that made the management decide that Rohit should not captain uh, the Mumbai Indians and Hardik should captain the Mumbai Indians. We already discussed this. We've already spoken, as a franchise, we've already spoken about what, why and what, so let's move on please. Hi, uh, Hi. I'm Karen from OTT Play. Uh, two questions, uh, one, one, the first question anyone can answer. Uh, with World Cup coming up and like hard things and injury can happen in what is the player management going to be with leading to the World Cup? I don't want to keep replacing players, especially the World Cup brown players. And Hardik, how was your welcome into MIT? I think, let me answer from the players' management perspective. Obviously, my job is, is coaching Mumbai Indians. Um, I'm no longer a coach of an international team, so I'm going to be a little bit biased and say that um, you know we'd like our best players to be playing at, at all times. However, I have got a, a soft spot for the players, and no matter what happens, we always look at the player first and, and have, his, you know, his, have his intentions uh, at heart. 
So, you know, we're not going to go out and, and play a player for the sake of playing him, knowing that he's going to get injured. Uh, I understand the professional world of sport today. Uh, there's certain players who might be carrying niggles. That's why I lean on my medical team um, to, to give me good advice of whether we can push a player or whether it's not a good idea to push a player. So we'll always have that interest of the player at heart, um, but hopefully we can keep him on the field. And bottom line is, you know, sometimes you just got to back the player and ask the player how you're feeling. If he's not feeling up to it, there's enough honesty in our dressing room that I think he could, he could come and chat to me and say, listen, coach, I'd, I'd like a break here. Or you might say to me, listen, I don't want to have a break. Um, sometimes you've got to fight that with the player as well, where the medical team say one thing and the player says other things. So it's the relationship that, and the trust that you form with, with, your, with your team and your team members and also the medical team that, that make that decision. Uh, my answer has been, uh, it's been amazing coming back, uh, being in my, where I live as well. Um, again, coming back to where it all started and now the journey is going to continue. So very, very excited, very happy. Um, the welcome was wonderful. Uh, it was very warm and it was very emotional. And uh, yeah, two years back, never thought we would be back here, but I am. Hi, Gaurav Gupta from Times of India. Um, uh, uh, you had a few injuries in your career. So I mean, can you describe this place? I mean, you went out in the middle of the World Cup, which must have been very tough on you. And then from there to the uh, getting the MI captaincy and all the, that was said on social media. So can you take us through that journey a bit? Like how was it? You know, this uh, see, when, when, when I got injured, uh, uh, when it happened, first of all, when it happened, I had no clue how bad it is or how good it is. Uh, when I went to the scan as well, initially it just showed because uh, when I twisted my whole ankle, it just showed that it's just a little niggle which would be fine. But as a couple of hours, progress. It showed the real, real picture where my ankle became like a big ankle and uh, in that process uh, straight away next next day I went to NCA uh, to make sure that I fasten my processes and make sure that I come back. Uh, again, we tried every day uh, making sure that uh, you know we are available for the World Cup and we had to take a call uh, after 12th day where I was still, I had a reoccurrence again where I had to, I, did, uh, my injury kind of expanded more and uh, the question was that do I want to represent India at 50% uh, the answer was no because uh, India deserves better than that um, and I myself will be not be able to justify the fact that I'm coming not completely ready and from there obviously this journey started of my rehab uh, and the whole process for the focus was only to make sure that I come back as soon as possible uh, but with injuries and uh, with something like a freak injury which I had, in that you need to give time because it is uh, not something which goes away in mobility or it goes with uh, physio helping you. It is just natural, natural body recovery which you need to do. And obviously then the whole MI thing came, uh, me coming back. It was more exciting time. I was sitting at home training and working hard. Um, this news came which was even more special. So yeah, since then it was... Just the journey has been going on. All right, one final question before we move on to the, the fan section, yes? Hartik, one question to you about Mumbai Indians. I mean, from the time you went and the time you came back, how much has the complexion of the entire squad has changed? And one Sorry. question, how much has the complexion of the entire Mumbai Indian squad has changed from the time you left? And one question to the coach, uh, uh, given the way Cameron Green was shaping up, uh, having joined the squad last year, I will play quite a few innings which will kind of uh, impactful and not having him this, around this time. How much uh, change would you be forced to make in terms of the whole squad competition? Um, see, the, obviously when I, it's been two years, this is my third year by the time I come back, a lot have changed. Uh, as, you, as you mentioned, coaches have changed. Players are only my four, five, four people who I used to play are the same people who are here. Uh, so even if this is also a little different, uh, but uh, the name remains the same. So the emotion and the love remains also the same. So uh, it is different, but I think we all are getting used to it and uh, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, with regards to Kevin Green, yeah. So that's the beauty of the RPL is um, that uh, the auction. It changes dynamics of a lot of lot of different teams and, and seasons. And Cameron Green uh, had a fantastic season for us. And I, I think the way that he played, the exciting brand of cricket that he played was was great uh, from our perspective. As I said, 
fortunes change and um, you know we, we had a couple of holes in our team um, that we needed to, to fill up uh, and unfortunately we had to you know we, we went with the decision to, to let go of him um, but we've selected along the lines of, of looking at players that can hopefully fulfill that role again um, we've got a couple of options available to us and, and hopefully that guy can come in in the big shoes that Cameron did have and then fill them um, with flying colours. Uh, so, yeah, that's Cam did have a great season for us, but uh, we have yeah, Mark one or two players to fulfill. Right, thank you so much. Um, I'm now going to move on uh, to a very special fan section. We have our M.I. Pertan, who is also tuned in across, from across the world. And we've shortlisted a few questions that have come in for you guys. All right, uh, let me just open it. Uh, it's from Hitansh, Hitanshu Jadav 19. His question is uh, to Hardik, uh, good to see you back in Mumbai. Can we see our vintage hitter Kung Fu Pandya back in action uh, like the old days and winning matches? Uh, yes, uh, the roles have changed. I'm back to what I've done throughout my career and uh, looking forward to that role and uh, I'm going to make sure that I I do justice to all the expectations which people have and um, yeah, very excited. Alright, um, next question is from Craig Crazy Johns and um, he's asked, he's like, in what role will we see uh, Hardik this season? You played in various roles and various batting positions. So, um, what can we, what role can we expect to see you <laughs> in the uh, IPL this season? This IPL, obviously, I'll be all-rounder. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I'll try to finish as many games possible and, um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be there down there making sure that I hit as many runs possible and uh, um, enjoy, actually enjoy the position which I've always loved. Awesome. All right. Um, next question is from Parag underscore Mantre and he's asked, I don't know if could answer, is will MI win their opening game this season and break the jinx? <laughs> As I said earlier, we've addressed that. Um, we understand that uh, we haven't started off well in, in the last few seasons. So, we, yeah, more than a few, I've just been reminded. Um, we've addressed that issue. If he's got any ideas on how to solve that, please, I'm more than willing to, to listen to him. But we've, we've uh, put, it, put one or two things in place that we think might be the change. Uh, not, I don't want to put any pressure on the players. Hopefully, it, it works for us. If it doesn't work for us, well, then we just back to. The good old usual, we have to cap play a bit of catcher. Awesome. All right. And the final question is from Tahu underscore FCC. And his question is, with the new roles being recruited and new big additions to the side, how has the approach to the new season changed from the previous years? Um, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's changed immensely. Um, you know, as I said, with, with Tadi coming in, a couple of new perceptions on, on how we want to play. I think last year we showed signs of, of the, the sort of brand that we want to play, which is very exciting to me. Um, you know, as I said, we had a couple of injury concerns, but this year we look like we're in a good place with regards to all the players and characters that we want to play a certain sort of brand. So I think that the fans can expect a, a nice positive brand of cricket, um, and, and we want to allow the players to really go out there and express themselves because we've got some immense talent within our squad. Um, and I think Hardik's the type of Captain who's going to you know, take that on board as well, and he's a nice, aggressive uh, player as well. So I'm sure that uh, every, every member within the team that walks into the field is going to feel like they can go and, and win a game for us, and we're going to try to allow them to, to go dominate that space. Awesome. All right, um, now we're going to move on to uh, something special, something fun with the journalist sitting in the room. Um, we want to do. Uh, sorry? Oh, there's more questions? All right, we can take some more questions. Hi, I'm Nikhil from ETV. How openly will Rohit play as a batter in this season, considering he doesn't have any captaincy pressure? And is this an added advantage for Mumbai Indians going into the season? I think Rohit's in fantastic form. I've been watching the, the games against England and the way that he's hitting the ball, these movements into the ball are fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to, to Rohit going out and, and really expressing himself, um, you know, as, as you said, with, without the captaincy on on his shoulders. Uh, I think, um, you know, all of us in, in Mumbai Indians are, are really excited to see him go out there and, and have a fantastic season for us. If he has a great season for us, we're going to be in, a, in the dying stages of the tournament, which is, I think, what we and the fans want. Hi, uh, Hardik, uh, welcome back to Mumbai Indians. Thank uh, you. After that transfer, did you have a chat with Shubhan Gill about kind of passing on the beta? <laughs> I 
Hardik, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, Yash from ESPN Trick Info. Uh, one thing MI missed last season, your coach would probably agree, was the services of Jaspreet Bumra. He's back, uh, he's had a crazy run of form from the World Cup, the England series. How big a shot in the arm is it for the team on the whole? And how much of his uh, role do you see as part of your leadership group, given that that's also a role he's taken on? And the question to the coach is, do you have a gauge on who your overseas quartet is likely to be? Uh, speaking about Jassi, uh, just, Jassi has been a number one bowler for a long time. He's been a champion cricketer. Uh, yes, uh, last year they did miss him. Uh, this year we are fortunate that he's available and firing with all cylinders. And uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be one of the leaders who's going to make sure that uh, he guides all the bowlers because the kind of experience and the knowledge which he has. So, looking forward for all all that and especially very excited to have him back with full throttle and at the same point of time helping the youngsters because the kind of knowledge and uh, ideas he has uh, and it's not just he throws them, he has done that in reality as well. So, a lot of, them, a lot of people can take inspire, inspiration from him and make sure that they kind of replicate what he does. It's very difficult but we can still try. With regards to the overseas quartet, I mean, if you have a look at our, all the, the players that we've selected, um, we've got plenty of options. Uh, so I think that this season we can choose condition related. Uh, we'll have a look at, and see which players best suit different conditions. The nice thing about our team is, and the squad, is that we've got a lot of very, very good local players to choose from. Um, you have a look at our, our batting lineup on, on paper, um, it's, it's largely an Indian, uh, Indian uh, cricket team batting lineup. So. That's, that's a big advantage for us as well. Uh, there might even be situations where we only go in with three, uh, three overseas players um, without giving too much away and, and maybe have one or two options as impact players on the bench and as I said, have a look at conditions, see what's best going to suit us. Um, so we are blessed in, in that regard that we've got a, a lot of very good uh, local Indian players. Hey. Question for Mark, uh, but Ali can also answer. This is Kumar Sham from Ali Tehad, which is an Abu Dhabi newspaper. MI Emirates, uh, which is your other franchisee, won the local league there. Uh, there's a lots of if, ifs and buts to this question, but just in case that the IPL gets moved out and goes to the UAE as it is being presumed, uh, do you think there will be an added price on your team uh, to be uh, the one to be beating? Sir, this is not a question, sir. Just speculation may not be. Yeah, just this case. Uh, that's about my favorite. <laughs> Uh, hi, um, hi. My name is uh, Rohan. I'm f I'm from 94.3 Radio One. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say it's an honor to talk to the both of you all. And uh, I just wanted to start off with uh, Mark first. Uh, Mark, uh, does uh, Hardik remind you a little of Jack Carlis? Because you played with Jack Carlis, he's a great. And uh, Hardik is also one of the uh, best all rounders uh, we've had in the recent few years, decade maybe, the recent few years. Second question is, how is the relationship between Nuan and Malinga in the camp since they're both similar bowlers? And my last question to Hardik is, uh, Hardik, you've been a really successful uh, top order batsman for in the last two seasons, and you've been uh, one of the best, all, uh, best finishers in the world. And you've been one of the most amazing bowlers as well, bowling really, really well. Uh, so, what's your favorite role amongst these three? Sorry, I was too so long on that. Thank you. Yeah, your first question, as you remind me, Jacques Kellis, he's got a lot more hair than Jacques Kellis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a positive, his, his head's going in the right direction. Look, Jacques is a fantastic cricketer, if not one of the greatest all-rounders that, that has ever been produced. Um, and he's a good close friend of mine as well. Um, so I think even to be mentioned in, in, in Jacques Kellis' breath, I think, you know, he'd look at it and go like, yo, I've achieved something in life. So, Having a look at Hardik as an all-rounder, he can win you a, ma a match with the ball and he can win you a match with the bat. So we are very privileged to have him at Mumbai Indians as well. And it's, um, as I said before, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to him challenging me and me challenging him in, in our relationship. Um, so I'll probably be able to answer that once I've spent a bit more time with him as well. Um, with regards to Nuan and uh, Mali, um, you know, they come from the same country, they've got the same action, so it's, it's a match made in heaven really. Um, you know. 
the, the conversations that they have, I can't say I understand them because it's in a different language. But uh, I, I see, I see that the, the, the perfect coach for, for Nuan. Um, you know, we first saw Nuan, well, I first saw him in, in, in Abu Dhabi. Um, and I was really surprised with, with uh, his action and the way that he was delivering balls. So he's got that X factor about him. And uh, who better to, to look after him than a guy who's he's probably looked at his action and tried to copy. So um, I think they're both in a very good space. Uh, my answer, what do I enjoy the most? Uh, see, I always have extra love for batting. And especially when it comes to uh, finishing games has been more even more special. So I'll keep it short. Something which I love is uh, batting and finishing game. But uh, the biggest uh, happiness I get is when I play as a well. Okay, that was, uh, that was it from the questions from the room here. We are now going to move on to do something fun with all the journalists present here. We're going to do a little bit of a Mumbai Indian. We're going to open it up for some matches. Ha <laughs> ha 